Hello and welcome to Crafternoons. I'm Miss Angela with the Indian Valley Public Library. And today we are going to be drawing from this book. And this book is called Rectangles and Triangles, a song about drawing with shapes. And it's written by Blake Huena and illustrated by Tim Pallon. What's really cool about this book is if you go through the whole book and draw everything in the song, you will end up drawing a scene like kind of like this one on the front of the book so what it's really cool it goes through and it it uses only shapes to draw the items so it starts out with a castle and you're drawing the castle using only rectangles and and half circles and in the next page we have a princess and we draw use shapes to draw her so we're just going to draw one thing from it but if you check this book out and you can do that if you check the link in the description you can request the book you can end up drawing a whole scene um, with castles and knights and dragons um, but i thought today we would just use our friend the triangle and draw this dragon picture so we're going to draw this dragon and if you want to follow along with me you will need um, something to draw on some kind of piece of paper i have my paper here you'll need something to draw with a pencil and you'll need an eraser and if you want to trace your lines you'll need a black marker and then something to color your picture in with i have some crowns here so you can draw whatever you want so we are going to draw today the dragon and right in the center of the page we are going to start with a triangle so we are actually a little bit to the left of the center of the page i'll start so i'm just going to draw a triangle And then I'm going to add a second triangle over here. And I'm going to make them somewhat the same size because these are going to be the dragon's wings. Now in between the two triangles, I'm going to draw another triangle. That's going to be the dragon's body. Now up here, we have two little triangles that are connected together. So we're gonna start with a line, a diagonal line, kind of follows, starts a little bit above this triangle and goes down. And then we're gonna draw two triangles attached to that line. So we have two more triangles attached to this triangle here and attached to one another. So that's our first couple steps. Now going on to the next step, we are going to draw a kind of almost like a half of a crescent moon shape. So we're going to draw a line, go curved line going up that way. And I hit a, an edge on my book here. So I, my line went a little askew. And then we're going to draw another curved line going back to the body. So here we're going to draw some legs. We draw a line going down and another line going down almost to meet it and then a little almost another half a crescent here for the dragon's foot then we're going to do the same thing over on this side i'm going to draw a curved line here another curved line here and a half crescent shape to join the two lines together so there we have the dragon's legs now here we're going to draw we're going to add some arms and just some lines here to make the arms a line here and some curved lines coming out and there we have the arms. And now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to add some triangles to make the scales, some triangles for the, not the scales, but the spikes on the dragon's back. So that was it. Basically some basic shapes and we made our dragon. So now the important thing to do next is to draw and color our dragon in. And for, but before we do that, we're going to trace the lines so we don't. And there you have it. With just a few simple shapes, I was able to make a dragon. Now, like I said earlier, if you follow through this whole book from beginning to end, you can end up creating a whole scene, or you can just do what I did, pick one aspect 
from the book and then you can draw a scene around it. Now I decided to add a little embellishment with mine. I, I had him shooting fire. I'll probably draw something up here later that he's shooting some kind of threat that he's shooting the fire at. You can also embellish your picture in other ways. I could have added scales. I could have added multiple colors. I made his different body parts different colors, but I could have um, added some designs into the dragon. So you can do whatever you want. It's just a basic picture that you can then make into whatever you want, which is really cool about starting with something simple because then you can make it your own picture. Have fun with that, and we will see you next time. Bye.